today we are going to be talking about star formation. Now a star is born out of an interstellar cloud. If we imagine a little interstellar cloud mostly consisting of hydrogen, it will start experiencing a gravitational collapse. So this means that all of those particles are going to be attracted towards the gravitational center of this interstellar cloud. Now as the particles are moving closer together, so remember they're all going to start, they're all going to want to collapse towards the center. When that happens, gravitational potential energy is directly converted into kinetic energy. However, remember, because kinetic energy is equal to 3 halves times Boltzmann's constant times T, if the kinetic energy increases, well, so does the temperature. During this process, this is, well, this is actually the formation of what is known as a protostar, which is a star that has not yet um, started to perform nuclear fusion reactions. However, you can actually see it. It, uh, it is glowing under the high temperature and the cloud is collapsing. This is once again known as a protostar. Now, when the temperature inside over here in the core reaches approximately 10 to the power of 7 kelvins and this is a really really important number over here about 10 to the power of 7 kelvin about 10 million kelvin nuclear reactions occur and then a star is born during that process hydrogen nuclei fuse into helium and actually mass is converted into energy in that process. This has been in accordance with Einstein's famous equation that delta E is equal to delta M C squared, but more on this when we actually do nuclear physics. Now, why do we need such high temperatures? Well, protons don't like each other. They repel. So we need incredibly high temperatures in order to overcome the electrostatic repulsion of the nuclei so that the protons can come close enough and they can fuse into helium. As soon as that happens, happens a star will be happily fusing hydrogen nuclei, nuclei into helium for a uh, probably a very long time depending on the mass and the star has entered what is known as the main sequence. It is a main sequence star. Once the star is formed, the uh, thermonuclear reactions inside of the core of the star produce this radiation pressure. Now, this radiation pressure actually equals the force of gravity, which is trying to crush the star even further. When the star is at balance and the radiation pressure equals the force of gravity, the radius of the star is constant and the star just happily burns through its hydrogen supply. Okay, folks, so hopefully uh, the uh, birth of a star makes sense now. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and please consider subscribing. Thank you.